Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about extended transition function for NFA with empty transitions. Output of extended transition functions for NFA with empty transitions for state Q and a string of input symbols W will be a set of all possible states in which the NFA can be after reading the string of input symbols W from state Q. Now if the output of extended transition function for initial state of NFA and a string of input symbols W is a set of states which contains at least one final state of NFA then the string is accepted by that NFA. How we find the output of extended transition function in case of NFA with empty transitions for present state Q and string of input symbols A1, A2, A3 up to A. See, first of all, what will we do? We will find the empty closure of state Q. Then we will apply input symbol A1 to the empty closure of state Q. Then we will get a set of states as a result. Then again we will find the empty closure of that set of states. And then again we will apply the input symbol A2. Then after applying the input symbol A2 we will get a set of states. Then again we will find the empty closure of that set of states. Right, and so on. We will repeat this procedure up to the last symbol of the string that is an. When we apply an to the set of states, we will get a set of states. Right, then again, whatever set of states we get as a result, we will take the empty closure of that set of states. It would be more clear after this example. Now consider this NFA with empty transitions. Now we have to find out the output of extended transition function for state Q0 and a string of input symbols A, A. So what will we do? First we will find the empty closure of state Q0. Empty closure of state Q0 will contain two states Q0 and Q1. Then apply first input symbol of the string to this set of states. When we apply A to set having two states Q0 and Q1, then the result would be a set having one state that is Q2. See when we apply A to Q0 then there is no transition from state Q0. When we apply A to Q1 there is a transition to state Q2. So here the result will be a uh, set having the state Q2. Now find the empty closure of state Q2. Empty closure of state Q2 will contain only one state that is Q2. Because from Q2 there is no empty transition. Now apply the second input symbol of the string to the this set of states which has only one state that is Q2. When we apply A to state Q2. We will get a set of states having only one state that is Q3 because from Q2 there is a transition to state Q3 for input symbol A. Now what we have to do? We have to find the empty closure of state Q3. Empty closure of state Q3 will have two states, Q3 and Q4, right? So empty closure of Q3 has two states, Q3 and Q4. Now we have read the whole string. Now there is no more symbol to apply, right? Now there is no more symbols are left to read. We have 
already read the whole string. So what would be the output? Its output, the output of extended transition function in this case will be a set of two states q3 and q4. Now see here q0 is the initial state right now the output of extended transition function for initial state and a string of input symbols a a is a set having one final state q4 so this string a a will be accepted by this nfa thank you very much